Hi everyone and welcome to Sharing Dance Canada 2017. We're so glad you're here to join us to learn a modified version of the Sharing Dance choreography. So start by finding a comfortable seat, make sure you're sitting in the center of your chair. As I dance, there's no need to worry whether your rights and lefts match my rights and lefts. Just enjoy and modify the movement any way you need to suit you. So I'm going to start off by uh, showing you two sections of the dance that have a little bit of an element of storytelling. The first one it was created by one of our choreographers, Roger, and it tells a story of journeying from a country of origin, a country where you were born, and coming to Canada. So the first part of his story, we do a little bit of classical Indian dance. So we're going to start with our thumb and our two fingers connected, and the other fingers are splayed wide. And this is called katakamuka, and it sort of looks like you've picked a flower, like you've pinched a flower. From that place, we're going to also do another mudra, or hand position, where we reach out in space, turning our palm to the ceiling and showing our pinky finger. Beautiful. And then we'll do that same thing on the other side. And that hand is called the lotus hand, or alapadma. So that's the, part, the way we start our dance with Roger. So we show these classical Indian mudras. Then he takes us on a bit of a journey where we get to show the waves of the ocean. And your waves can go whatever way you'd like your waves to go. And he also shows us that that journey to a new country involved a lot of struggle. So we have some strong punches that you'll see that show some of that struggle. And we come down again to show that struggle. But at the end of Roger's section, we're going to reach up to show some victory that we find our new home here in Canada. So that's one piece of the choreography you'll see as we dance along together. Another piece is a section uh, that we call the Canadiana section. And that tells us a few things about the country. So it starts off with our hands by our shoulders. We show that we have 10 provinces, three territories. We have lots of animals in Canada, so we show little ones, bigger ones, ones as big as moose. We also show that we have beautiful birds, so like a goose, our wings can dance with us. And then we show that we can swim like fish. And then at the end of that section, we'll show that we can reach to the all corners of the country. So to the north, to the south, to the east, and to the west. And once again, we get to show the kind of water or oceans that we have surrounding our country. So those are two sections you'll notice as we dance through together. Another thing that you'll see is that there are elements of improvisation throughout this dance. One element that will come up often is that we have what we call the energy ball. And this ball can pulse, you can throw the ball up in the air, you can whirl the ball around, you can make it grow or shrink. You can create your energy ball any way you like. Maybe you'll even toss it to a friend. There'll be another section that's a really free-form improvisation where you're allowed to move any way you choose. And you may want to select some of the movements like the mudra's hands, or like the punches, or like the waves, uh, that you can bring back to include in your improvisation. So now let's dance it along together, and I'll talk you through as we practice with the music. So we're finding the pulse with our hands, getting ready to start. Draw the hands up, and we start with this alapadma hand reach, really extending into the space. Excellent, now moving on to the waves. Show the waves any way you like with your body. How do they crash as you dance? Uh, now coming up to the punches, show the stroke. One, two, three, four, going low to high. Good, now we're gonna stomp those feet, stomp, go one. Switching legs. And again. Great, now we're gonna add some arms. Any kind of arms you like, it's freestyle. Good, can we back to that classical Indian hand? Here we go, reach one. Excellent, now we're going to do that energy ball. Create your own energy ball. Good. Three 
reach back and push with energy. Push, push, and again, twist. Look back and push. Two more times. Excellent. Good, going back to those Indian reaches, reach Alapadma. Hey, arms up. And down. One more time, reach up. Here comes the energy ball. Good, pressing up with 10 provinces. 10, three territories. Little animals, bigger animals, moose and goose, and swim like the fish. Good, we're gonna reach to the north and south. Good, oceans, wave. Good, now bringing a pulse into our shoulders. Good, just let it feel heavy as it drops. Excellent, now we're gonna take a deep breath together, arms go up. This is improv, anything you like to do. So bring back some movements from the dance. And arms come up together, go up. Good, slowly let them come down, little waves. Push away. Good, coming back to those shoulders. And heels go out. Now we're gonna press our knees open. Good, keep going. Good, stop. Changing feet. Again. Excellent. Good, now your own freestyle arms. Let them fly. Maybe add in some of the stuff we've been working on. Good, now we're gonna take our neighbor's hands, reach for your neighbors, and add a little pulse in your step. Good, feeling that connection. Good, we're gonna slow it down a little bit, let your weight shift, feel it slowing down. Good, and last movement, we're gonna reach up with energy, reach up, and grab and then take that energy and give it away. Beautiful work.